Hello, my name is Steve Shurtleff and I'm the city councilor at Lodge, but I'm also a resident of Ward 1, the village of Pinnacook. And today we're at the Pinnacook Community Center. This center has a rich history, but it has an even better future. In 1948, the residents of Pinnacook realized they needed to provide a location for the children to play safely, to learn, and to help them to grow into being responsible citizens. In 1954, in April of that year, that dream became a reality when the people of Pentecook joined together their resources, their talent, and their time to build what is now the Pentecook Community Center. Since that time, no one could have envisioned the tremendous growth over the past 60 years. From just in the last eight years, we've seen the number of people serviced by the Pentecook Community Center from 2003 to 2013 grow from 3,000 participants to over 10,000. A lot of this is because of the hard work and dedication of our dynamic executive director, Deb Cudahy. The Pinnacle Community Center realizes that in order to best serve our citizens, we need to work with other nonprofits and governmental agencies to provide the best service we can. In doing that, the PCC has partnered with the U.S. Department of Agriculture to provide last year, 2013, over 8,000 um, nutritional breakfasts and almost 18,000 nutritional sna snacks for young people from ages 15 to 12 years. Uh, another part of that partnership is working with the Pinnacle Historical Society. Um, the Historical Society was kind enough to let the PCC seniors use the beautiful 1834 Rolf House to hold uh, functions there and provide services for their needs because we have outgrown this facility uh, because of the tremendous growth. Another part of the partnership with the Historical Society is they've made available land to the community center in which we teach young people to actually grow their own vegetables and they can then bring them home to their families. And to make that even more of a success, we are able to obtain the services of two organic farmers who are working with the children who uh, range in age for, from young elementary schools up to middle school age. And uh, I think it's tremendous for young people to actually see where their fruits come from and their vegetables and to take part and to get their hands a little dirty but to take part in uh, actually providing food for their own families. And it's somewhat it's a misnomer to say that we are the Pentecost Community Center because we just don't service the village of Pentecost anymore. We now serve other residents of Concord as well as seven other communities in our area. I think one of the primary things that the Pentecost Community Center most is most proud of is this daycare program. Uh, we are proud of the fact that we are one of the least expensive daycares uh, available uh, in, this, in our region. But the community center realizes that in addition to providing low-cost daycare for our children, the parents also want their children to receive a quality education. And to meet this need, the Pentacle Community Center has, has just submitted the paperwork to be accredited by the National Association of Early Childhood Learning. I chose to come here to the community center because this community center truly is the heart and soul of Ward 1. And I am so proud of what this center has accomplished. As I mentioned, the center is proud of its ability to partner with others. And in one of those partnerships is working to reduce uh, childhood uh, obesity. And it was a true honor for the Pen village of Pentecook and the city of Concord that the First Lady Michelle Obama made a special trip here to the center to acknowledge the work that has been done by the Pentecost Community Center in uh, reducing childhood obesity and taking part in the national program. The center has a great future. We see the facility we're in today, as I mentioned, was built in 1954, and it was built by the hardworking people of Pentecost, people like Wes Frost, who still lives across the street and is still active in the uh, Pentecost as a member of the board of the Historical Society. As a young Boy Scout, he was over here working, carrying cement blocks. And that spirit of community service and, and, and pride in Ward 1 continues today. And now as the center looks forward to the future, we're looking to future expansion with the possibility of the acquisition of the Washington Street School. 
so that our services can expand and uh, we can continue to serve the people of our area in a way they've grown accustomed to.